Joining us for the third episode of the, of the Dave, Dave and, and Dan, Dan show. show. I am Mark. And I am Mike. And, and welcome back. Welcome back. Gotta, Gotta get, get back in time. Well, at least we have that. <laughs> if nothing else, that's how you can at least, <laughs> at least that segue. Facebook. <laughs> segue. Like if it was on one of those segues. They didn't have those in the in the in the 2015. No, and those were cool. Yeah, they are. They were. were are are still <laughs> exactly. Do we have the thumb thing yet? We sort of got the thumb thing too. They were talking people, about thumbprints. People and unlock stuff. their phones with their fingerprint now. That's the yeah. new iPhone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it, that was going to be one of their things that they were going to put in the in the in the Back to the Future, uh, especially number two when they were in the future. They're going to talk about people who were going and cutting off thumbs because oh. then you'd be able to go access people's house. House. Their bank account. Bank account. Their thumbprint, obviously. Thumbprint, obviously. Thumbprint. And their well, I guess their thumb because they're getting the thumbprint. Yeah. I mean if you were gonna do a Fonzie impression, that would be the era. Hey! <laughs> that would be the era to do it in. Oh my god, I got no thumb! Hey! Oh! Hey. I think that, I don't know, just because of the rewatch or whatever, I love Back to the Future. Back to the Future, I think, is my favorite time travel movies. And I say I was with you until I watched them again. It must have mm. been a long time since I've seen them. And when mm. I rewatched them, I was watching them with my wife, and she hadn't seen them before. And so I was like, oh, you got to see these. It's, it's so great. You're going to love them so much. And then as we were watching them, I'm like, well, maybe it's not great, great, but it, it's good. It's funny. It's... And then my memory of it was much better than what I just watched. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Well. I still enjoyed I, it. I'm, I'm gonna... not saying I didn't enjoy it. It's just not as great as my memory had it. But I'm going to go ahead now and... Now I'm afraid to watch E.T. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and dare you to come up with a better time travel movie, though. Oh, come up with a better... Especially in a trilogy? Time Cop 2. No, that's terrible. <laughs> time Cop 1 was kidding. terrible. I'm time kidding. Cop 2 was doubly as bad. If Biff went back in time and gave himself that almanac, the future that led to him actually ever getting a hold of the almanac in a time machine would have never happened. So, boom, he couldn't have gone back to make himself rich. Oh, absolutely he could. So There's all like, sorts of they paradoxes. They go, oh, there's an alternate timeline in this one, but... When Marty first went back in number one, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, no, everything affects you. And it was cool because it did. And it's like it's pictures fading and that kind of stuff. But then in number two, they're just like, we don't want to have to worry about paradoxes and stuff. We're just going to say, look, alternate timelines happen. The, the most complicated and cool and convoluted time travel movie is number two, for sure. Because of those alternate timelines. Otherwise, it's just like, okay, mm. well, okay, so you go back and you go back and you go back. But when you go to the future, and by the way, the future that they go to is this year, 2015. It's like the year. And, and they even said they didn't want to go to the future because if they go to the future, they're going to be wrong. Just like every other movie that ever goes to the future is wrong mm -hmm. about flying cars and all that stuff. And they were mm -hmm. obviously in a whole bunch of stuff super mm -hmm. way off mm -hmm. for 2015. Yeah. And I know that they went a little sideways on number two as far as their whole space-time continuum thing. But I think the whole, when they show that on the chalkboard, how there's an alternate timeline, here's the original one. And if you could go back beyond that one, it's almost like butterfly effect. If you could just go back beyond beyond where you where you made the mistake and, and correct it from there then everything should be fine and mm -hmm. everything transforms around you but mm -hmm. and then i was surprised that how much i liked number three i thought that it was my least favorite in my memory yeah. but when i watched it again i'm like oh this is way better than number two and then they put in the flying train at the end mm. so, <laughs> i really like the flying train <laughs> the fact they come back in the train is really cool but if you went to the future already, why the hell are you still using your train? <laughs> <laughs> why didn't you just have a flying... Why'd you, why'd you turn it into a flying Get train? Get a flying Winnebago. 
You got your family? You could cook meth in there with Walter White or whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, well. Or you can be like Lone Star and Barf. (laughs) Lone Star and Barf. (laughs) Exactly. This month, what are we doing? With our IOTM? Yeah. Well, we got Impressions of the Month. We we have a, a few more from last month. And yeah, we really appreciate everyone sending in their comments. Now we had to uh, try and do uh, more than Mike one. Mike McKinnon sent us another one, and he Mike. wanted to see uh, Walter White as Batman. I'm Batman. We yeah. also had uh, Paul Keneva, who was asking if we could do oh, Gingy, Gingy from Shrek. From Shrek, the uh, gingerbread guy. Something, anything from Kindergarten Cop. It's not a tumor! <laughs> Tim Whitaker. Tim Whitaker. Uh, asked us if we could do uh, William Shatner... Doing anything... At, 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 do, at first it was just William Shatner doing anything. And then it was William Shatner doing anything from, from the, Grinch. the Grinch by Jim Carrey. So uh, one of our executive producers picked out a couple lines from the end of the movie there. Just as his heart's about to grow. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. Impersonations of the month. Impersonations of the month. Keep sending us your your ideas because we we love hearing them. We do, and we love doing them, even though we're not that good. We can't do we can't do them all either. No, no, and the ones that we pick, we can't do well. Dan and Dave, did you see what those guys were doing this month? Nope. Those guys always have some crazy idea of what they think is gonna make money. Make money, and that's the funniest part of it. Those guys are ridiculous. Let's just check and see. Check to see what they're up to. Dan and Dave are doing this month. Yo, come in. Hey. Hey, man. How's it going? Good. Good. What are you working on there? Well, you know, as always, trying to find a way to make some money. Make some money? I was thinking good old fashioned lemonade stand. Keep it nice and simple, back to basics. Mm, yeah, yeah, simple. Simple and basic, that's. That's you, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if that's if that's the idea, I, I'm nice game. What what do we need? Let's oh. get it. Let's get it going. We need. Well, if we're making a lemonade stand, we need a stand. A stand, and for sure chairs. Even though it's called a stand, I'm gonna want to sit down. Location <laughs> scouting. Location we need scouting. to have a high traffic area. Okay. Yeah. 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 We need to find some traffic area. Yeah. yeah then we're gonna need cups, ice. Washing facilities, bathroom facilities, parking facilities, directions to the event, directions from the event, recycling facilities, decycling facilities, cycling facilities. <laughs> so yeah, basic, simple stuff. Simple. Yeah, basic and simple. Simple. Yeah. There's gonna need to be jugs, pitchers. Cheers. Uh, advertisement, signage, uh, and, and of course, of course, we'll need some lemons. Lemons, yes, and they, you, you can't just have lemons, you've got to squeeze the lemons. Squeeze you the lemons. will have to squeeze the lemons, we, and that's going to be... We will have to squeeze some lemons, that's right. You're we'll going to have to squeeze, squeeze a, quite a bit of lemons. You're right? going to have to squeeze a lot of lemons. We will have to do that, yes. Yes, you will. And this is probably <laughs> the best idea I've ever had. I just realized I, I don't even know how to make lemonade. Well, neither do I, but I can train you, teach you, but only you can squeeze them alone.
It's been a long time. We've been here forever. No one stopped. Is it the price? Good spot. It's going to probably be something you did or something you didn't do. It's going to be something you did. They thought they could get people to stop to get lemonade on a highway. As usual, those guys just have no clue. No clue. If you really enjoy seeing the adventures of Dan and Dave, and if that is your, maybe even your favorite part of seeing the show, did you know that you can watch just a playlist of just what's happening with Dan and Dave? If you go to our channel on YouTube, you can watch a playlist just of just the Dan, Dan and Dave, Dave segment. segments of the Dave and Dan show. So, so oh, yeah. every episode, no, no, every yep. epi and every, every episode, episode we review we a review a, a game, game that came out came for, out for free. free on Xbox Live Gold. But this month, because there are so many games coming out on Xbox there was like Live. Four games yeah, month. there was. There's four. Wow. I Lucky to, if you have a gold membership. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. I want to review um a certain game and Mark Assassins. Went, yeah, Assassins but because I played it. I thought maybe a lot. It was the best. Maybe we, we should go with the one that we did. Neither didn't one play. of us have played. So what did we play? We played, we played Army of Two. Yo, Dave Dan 015. Dave and Dan. Dan, Dan and Dave. Dave. Which one's which? which? It's hard to say. Yeah. And while you think about that, think about this. Shoot him up. Shoot, shoot, You ready? Shoot, shoot, shoot. I think we're saving and we're loading. Overkill is your main advantage over the enemy. Deploy it to cause major damage. Overkill activated. Everything's in slow-mo or something? I don't know. It seems like... I think it is. Looks like... So we get to kill a whole bunch of guys all at one time. Proceed oh, through man, the door. This little tiny screen sucks, eh? It does, kind of, actually. <laughs> they wanted me to move to certain cover in their way. Mark doesn't like the game! I can understand it. It's basically Gears of War. Yeah. Well, yeah, run and gun. You said that. I don't this like tutorial it. section's going on too long. You need to be into gameplay by now. No, it's not that. I don't like it. It's not my game. You don't like first person no. shooters? No. No, it's not a first person. It's a third person. Oh, it's a third person shooter? It's almost it's a first that. person shooter. Your guy on the screen is almost inconsequential. Because it reacts. Agreed. Why is my guy still person. loading? How many? Look at my guy. <laughs> How long is he going to load? How many bullets does my gun take? He's still loading! Show this part! <laughs> He's still loading. 70, 80, 90, 100. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't stop. And on your screen. Apparently you only have two bullets in your gun. <laughs> I think I might be. Oh, that's it, I'm out. Oh, there we go. Oh no, now there we go. Oh! Five, five is how many bullets I actually have. Even though it seemed like 80, 85 or seventy-five. I'm shooting at this guy here. I'm shooting at people. I am now shooting at guys. I see Rios up ahead of me. I'm shooting from around this car. I'm shooting at stuff. I see you up ahead of me. You're at the car up ahead of me. I'm gonna come up to that car. Oh, I slid behind something. That was cool. That was a cool move. I just made a cool move. I kind of like this one. <laughs> this would be much better if we were uh, playing, if you were at home and I was here and we were playing full screen doing this. It would be much better. But I kind of like it. I, like I want to be at home. Two player shooter. I want to be at home. <laughs> I think we well, are you two? What do you think? You like? I kind of I kind of like it. He's in command. It's a lot like Gears of War. Right. High action. And I think that once that upon a time so we did play Gears of War two player from separate locations on oh. Xbox Live. We'll get this back. would be fun. We'll get back to you. Two player on Xbox Live, I think, if you had full screen. Because it, it's hard when you're playing split screen like this. It's hard to get immersed in the environment. Yeah, especially with like a buffoon sitting next to you screaming and yelling. <laughs> 
<laughs> to be super fair about the whole thing is that I can't believe that Assassin's Creed Black Flag number four, or like, or Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag is a free game, nor that Army of Two or whatever that Devil's name, Cartel, Devil's Cartel, the newest one, is also a free game. They also had. Gears of War Judgment, which was the newest in the Gearest, Gearest, <laughs> the Gears, in the Gearest franchise, in the Gearest of Warest, in the Gearest of War, and they had franchise. Terraria as well. And it turns out you were right. You don't like the running gun. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I'm still not a big fan. It's no. the same uh, I as thought it was. that maybe that could have some potential, and maybe we we plugged through and got got into it. We might have found that we liked it, but I could tell. You were not uh, jiving on that one. Mm -mm. You know what? I'm a little soured by that game. I didn't really... I didn't, yeah? I didn't dig the game. No, I was a little soured. I thought it had potential, but... Yeah, but... Sour. I did too, but I was soured by it. Sour. So, to go along with that, what about Sour Skittle? Which, I'm pretty sure if you shack in the I repertoire of I've Dave heard. and Dan that's, drinks... That's, that's what I was thinking. Yes. What do they I'm make it with? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they make it with... I think it's a gin drink. Gin. Ooh. Three different gins. Three different gins. One sour drink. Go. Go. What are the three different kinds that we've got? The Ungava, the Bombay Sapphire, and Tanqueray. What do they call gin? What's the nickname for gin? I don't know. I really don't know. Panty remover. Oh! Yeah, panty remover, apparently. <laughs> three, and two, one, go! go. Just such a good drink. Oh man, that's mm. delicious. That might be my favorite drink so far. And one, two, three, go. So good. I think three might be my favorite. I gotta delicious. tell you, every single time I come back to one, though, I can tell which one's one. What are we gonna What are we gonna pair as far as a food with these uh, sour skittle drinks? Well, I think that. Uh... Maybe a pizza. Pizza. And let's just do like a average everyday frozen variety from your supermarket. Mm-hmm. Let's see which one makes the best pizza. What? Which company? Yeah. We won't know what they no, are. We don't even know which one we have. Yeah, it's blind taste has like completely blind. Completely blind. And let's have those pizzas now. Oh, yes. Yeah. Pizza. <laughs> oh, right in the nick of time, too. Sweet. So... One? Are you going one? I'm first? going one first. It's okay. calling to me. Okay. So the, all well. we know that is that these are frozen cheese pizza. If I had to guess right off the bat, sauce. I'd almost say that was like a Dr. Oetker's or something. I don't know why. A Dr. Oetker. <laughs> number three. I think three. Just to clear out some space for that big number two that's in there. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Right away, like that's that garlicky. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's mm. good. Mm. And the, mm. it's almost like a white sauce rather than a red sauce. Is mm. that right? Mm. That's got a nicer dough or whatever. Mm. GD, that's good. Mm. That's almost like um, cheesy garlic bread or something. You mm. know what I mean? All right. All right, number two. Number two. Big old <laughs> thick number two. <laughs> Big old fat <laughs> number two. You got to tap your pizza. You gotta <laughs> In case there's crumb bums on it. We you don't want crumb bums. You don't, don't want to get ants. <laughs> I kind of like the biscuity crust, actually. Biscuity. Mm. Doesn't it mm. like a biscuit? Biscuit. Exactly. Mm. This one might have just been underdone a little bit. What, the first one? No. Nope. Number one? Not underdone. Not underdone, it's just not good? So I don't have any guess, because I don't know what they are, so I'm not going to guess which one's which, but I'll tell you, number three is my favorite. I think so, too. So knowing the gins, you want to take a guess? Hazard a guess at all here? 
Uh, fuck. I can't really tell a difference at all. I'll, I can tell that this one has gin. Yeah, that's what I can tell. I can tell this <laughs> has gin in it, and I can also tell you they're all delicious. I know that they all have gin in them because I made them, and then <laughs> someone else mixed them all up. But yeah, I, I I don't know gins well enough maybe to say, but I just keep thinking that this is the ungava. Okay, and then. That's Bombay Sapphire. I don't know what leave that one. <laughs> Victoria Gin. No, wait, no, we don't have that one. Tanqueray. I couldn't make any different prediction that on it. I'll just go with what you've said. Oh, wow, really? And, and as far as the pizzas go, without seeing, a, favorite. without seeing a box, I wouldn't have a clue. Nope. Maybe if we saw the boxes, we might be able to tell what they are, but... I'm, I'm definitely saying number three is my favorite because it's gone off my plate. Okay. And I would say that my favorite's number one because I can taste the gin and I like that little bit oh, of okay. juniper that I can taste in there. I don't know if that's maybe a slight difference in the mix, although I watched you mix them. They look pretty precise. I so I'm going to think that maybe it's just number one's gin that's giving it that a little bit more juniper. Let's find out. You oh, got the whole right! As far as the gins, I can't even believe it. You got the right. I know, and you know what? As far as the pizzas go, even though the only one I could even come up with as far as a, uh, a brand name of pizza was Dr. Oetker. It was one of them. It was number one. And it that's was the one I one. said that I, that I thought the, the sauce Dr. tasted Oetker. like a Dr. Oetker. I'd almost say that was like a Dr. Oetker. Okay, nice so we work. got, that was number one. So we had that number one, yeah. Number two was a Delicio. Yeah, okay. Delicio. Which, Thin and crispy. Okay, that was the square one. That's, That's why this one, one with the extra yeah. crust. Okay. That was yeah, that was pretty good too. Like I say, it had right. a real yeah. distinct sauce. I think I, I did like that better than the Dr. Oetker. Yeah, maybe. I, I kind of like the Dr. Oetker. And then we had this crazy thing that apparently has no peanuts in it. Yeah. And it's a cheesy melt. It's not technically a pizza, I guess. Yeah, not if really. You like that dude looks like he's making a pizza, sort of. Kind of. He's Italian. <laughs> Tell by his colors and his yeah. mustache. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. That was our favorite. Donatello's Cheesy Melt. Yeah. Was so our favorite. <laughs> just pizza. like garlic cheese bread. And I said that too, that that's what it tastes like. Cheesy garlic bread or something, you mm. know what I mean? I've, I've done a blind taste test in the past with different gins, and the Ungava won that time, yeah. and it won for me this time. Yes, because you said that that was the, at least the I, one that flavored it. I didn't know if it was it. a different mix or anything, but it was definitely the one that had that juniper bite and flavor that I really enjoyed. I really liked it and it turned out it was my I, favorite yeah, again. Yeah. And you got them all right. That was awesome. I'm pretty And I'm I picked this certain. one as my favorite as the Bombay Sapphire. Yeah. I think 3 might be my favorite. Mm mm. So yeah. Pizza and sour skittles. While well, you're thinking about all of that, let's drink this. Think about this. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us once again on third the Dana Dana Show. We feel like um, veterans now after the third episode. Veterans. And yet, at the same time, we feel like we've Barely so much, the yeah, so, so much, much to learn, so much, so much to, learn. to know. But we would like to hear what you think. How do how do, how do you guys think we're doing so far? What do you like the most? I would like to hear people not like us at all. Oh, you'd like to hear that. I would. <laughs> I would like to hear strangers absolutely trash Please me. Please leave us some comments down below on how much you hate Mike. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, exactly. There should be buttons all around me that say, I, like I hate, hate Mike. Mike. <laughs> or subscribe. And you know no. what? You might push one and get the other. And, and that you is... subscribe. Yes, you should. And you should thumbs up. And, and then share our video with your friends. And the only part you should thumbs down is just me personally. So, while, while you're, you're thinking, thinking about all of that, think, think about, about this. this.